What's up guys, Skippy Africanus here, and recently I dropped that video on the PDSW-528 from Modern Warfare 2, uh, or as it's really known, the P90. And one point that I really kept going into was how simple of a gun that really is. Despite how futuristic and space age it looks, it, it really is a very simple gun, and the magazine, as mentioned, is no exception. Now, I did not have an actual P90 magazine with ammo, uh, as I do now when I made the video, so I sort of just explained in basic on how it works, but today we're going to actually take a look at this magazine and again you will see just how simple these are. So to start off I've disassembled the magazine in order to better show the various parts that are you know attributed with it because obviously compared to a say a normal magazine like a Luger one this one's got a whole bunch more weird stuff going on with it. And to start off we'll look at one of the most important parts the spiral tract as I mentioned you can kind of see a little bit on camera that it sort of has like a twist to it and as the first cartridge is inserted of course, it naturally will sit upright, of course, we push a little bit back. And then as the second one, well, I guess I don't need that second one, but as your second one is to be inserted on top of it, it begins to ride inside that tract. Now, of course, there's no spring tension to hold this in place, so it's just going to fall, but essentially that tract in there is what actually spins the cartridge. Now, of course, this is definitely a single feed, and the way this thing actually makes it go into a single feed is you will notice, get my hand out of the way, that little uh, sort of tract right there, that is what's going to turn your double uh, stack magazine right down to a single feed. And you will also notice on the spring, uh, I guess I'll call this the follower, these are kind of technically the followers, but on this piece right here you'll notice that when it sits in there, pretty much butts up right against it. Now of course this system you know, in and of itself should work in actually feeding the cartridges in there, but it would still leave you with about two extra cartridges, give or take, that would be, you know, stuck in the magazine because up to a certain point, this is just going to get stuck right there and there's still plenty of room in there. That is where these two pieces come into play. I called them dummy cartridges, feeding cylinders, uh, something of that nature. And you will notice that on these two pieces, they are the approximate size of a 5.7 round. And these are the two pieces that will provide enough space to actually feed the rest of the ammo in the magazine. Now, of course, I guess these aren't technically dummy cartridges because they don't simulate an actual bullet tip. And there's a reason for that. The reason for that is this uh, little, I must call it screw piece right here, on one opening, it's small, just enough to fit that bullet head in there. The other end can fit the rear of the cartridge. Now, if you were to have these actually shaped like a 5.7 bullet, they would come out of the magazine. So. These are shaped like that solely to just kind of have a stopping point, so again, they don't fly out of the magazine. And you can see this on the, you know, reassembled magazine, where it only comes a little bit halfway, doesn't do a full turn and actually come out of the magazine. And in the end, that's why the P90 magazine is able to do this. Turn your cartridge all the way around. Now, as mentioned, this magazine is not a single stack, it is a single feed, of course, but you can see as I load more ammo, they start to go right over that little slant, I'll call it, and go into the, it's a little bit hard to show on camera, but go into that double stack. And of course, I'm certain you've noticed the actual spinning in that bottom piece right there. As mentioned, Though it's a weird magazine design, the principle itself is quite simple, much like practically everything else on the P90. So that right there is how the P90 magazine works. I hope y'all enjoy the video as much as I personally enjoyed making it, and I will see y'all next time.